salutations, friends. It's your pal, Sid Stevie, and I just got two pre-orders in, and they happen to be from the same manufacturer. Uh, these come from uh, Devo Knives. So this was a pre-order directly through Devo Knives, and this was a pre-order through Blue Creek Knives. Let's get into this one first, uh, because this is one that I pre-ordered a long time ago after handling the prototype. Uh, if you don't know Devo Knives, which I'm sure you do, uh, they are responsible for the Stout and the Growler. Lefty EDC and Colin Mason Pierre are Devo Knives. I'm sure you've heard of them. But, uh, yeah, I am digging what they are putting out thus far. And uh, this was their first go-around. And then uh, they did the buzz, which is what uh, this is. So, uh, what do we got in here? Uh, that's an empty package there. A packing slip. And then, uh, there we go. This is... Uh, as I mentioned, the Buzz. This is OEM'd by Bestech, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not. Uh, it is Bestech. So, uh, looks like I got a Buzz, a Tux, uh, coaster that came with it. And, uh, here is the contents. Oh, cool, even more swag. Um... Devo Knives, a Ranger Eye, uh, a Buzz sticker, and uh, a towel. Kind of a chamois there, a Devo Knives chamois. So uh, that's cool. And then the pouch is uh, the same pouch that the Stout came in. Kind of this faux leather with a big shiny brass zipper on it. Nice packaging uh, thus far. So, uh, similar also to the Stout, it came with an extra set, uh, a complete uh, set of hardware, and the knife itself. I believe they have individually QC'd all of these, from what I uh, saw them talking about. So, uh, here is the buzz. Let me put this hardware back. Seems to have a bit of oil on it. Uh, which is quite all right. That'll uh, not be a problem. But yeah, this is the Tux version. Uh, so we have black washed uh, titanium, matching backspacer uh, with a satin blade. Uh, this is a front flipper and slot for deployment only. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a flick. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's try the front flipper. Not bad. Mm. Not bad. Crisp. Not real strong. Not light at all. So, all right, that gets uh, definitely gets a pass there. Uh, this knife was. Let's see here. I, uh, the trains rolling through town. Uh, I paid on the pre-order for this uh, two hundred and eighty-three dollars. Uh, some quick specs here. Uh, we have a 3.3 inch blade, 4.2 inch handle. Uh, this is 20 CV and it is uh, OEM by Best Tech. So nice. Uh, I think they're calling this the Buzzcleaf uh, blade style, which is a silly name in my opinion. But uh, yeah, a great looking blade uh, for sure. Uh, hand uh, or belt vertical belt satin there uh, satin flats I really like the titanium uh, the black uh, titanium there uh, the Devo knives pivot is slightly askew unless it's supposed to be like that I would think it needed to be uh, more uh, vertical but that's okay as I mentioned uh, the back spacer there has a uh, lanyard uh, post, I guess, uh, built into it. Uh, very nice. Reversible wire pocket clips. So you get that goofy looking unused uh, slots there if you're not going to, uh, or 
you know, the unused side. Someone's got to figure out something to do about that because it just looks goofy as shit. And I'm getting tired of that. I understand you need to do a reversible pocket clip and there's not much you can do. But I don't like the way that looks. Um, yeah, it's just a personal preference, but it completely takes away from the aesthetics of it. I don't know who agree would disagree with that, but yeah, it is what it is. That's just me. Um, and uh, yeah, where is the steel marking? I'm not sure. Maybe it's on the inside there. This is a uh, bolster lock, I suppose. Or uh, yeah, this is more of a bolster lock, uh, liner lock there. Uh, writing on cage ceramic bearings. It is dead nuts centered. Uh, let's see how sharp it is. Here's my packing slip. All right. It's definitely sharp. That's for sure. Uh, one of the cool things about this knife is after I had reviewed it, uh, I was talking to Kevin, and I'm not going to take the credit for it, but I was definitely talking to Kevin about the lack of jimping on this knife. And he said, you know what, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put forward jimping on it. So it's not the whole length of the knife, but when you go to choke up now, you definitely get that landing spot, which is kind of Vox-ish. Uh, Vox does a lot of uh, jimping like that. You see that a lot on uh, like giant mouse knives. And um, it's good. It's money. Uh, ergos are good. I got no uh, hot spots whatsoever. Uh, the hole is nice and rounded, uh, or chamfered down, no, uh, no sharp corners at all. And I didn't check the action there, but yeah, that's good. Uh, this is a great knife. I really like this knife. I really like this knife. Um, I got zero problems with this knife. Uh, you can't really, oh, you can do the over the top. Okay. Yeah, this is a cool knife. I really like it. I remember how much I liked it during the, uh, when I checked it out during the uh, prototype, uh, uh, when I had it, uh, the prototype in, and I think I had the reverse tux, and the tux is what I wanted. I would like this a lot more if it was um, stonewashed, but that being said, got no beef with this knife whatsoever. Uh, great job, fellas. Great job put these off to the side uh next let's get into uh the mash v2 so i only handled the prototypes of these when they had these at blade show west and i believe at the time they had another oem doing the V1s? I don't remember who that was. Maybe it was Shielden? I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't remember. Uh, got another uh, Blue Creek Knives sticker. Ryan's killing it with the stickers. And there is the uh, MASH sticker. So this is a... Uh, the MASH has been a Blue Creek Knives exclusive. Uh, but I like the MASH. The MASH was uh, definitely my style... I, the V1 drop sold out in like six minutes and I completely missed it. And I'm glad I ended up missing it because I did not know that they were going to be doing a V2. Uh, the OEM on this is now Kube. And they came out with a colorway that is more my jam. So uh, here we go. Uh, wrapped up uh, like a little burrito in a uh, wiping cloth here. A nondescript uh, wiping cloth. So this is definitely more uh, on their uh, budget end. But uh, it's basically similar uh, colorways to the uh, Buzz here. Uh, and real quick on this, I paid $135 uh, for this one. And uh, let's see, I got the specs uh, for this pulled up as well. So uh, this is nice. This is light. I'm uh, I'm digging this. Wow. Okay. All right. Um. This is who? Okay. 135 bucks for this bad boy. Uh, not bad. 
so yes, the OEM on this is Kube, uh, 14C28N, uh, 3.3 inch blade, uh, PVD anodized, uh, or anodized aluminum handle, or titanium. So they had a blue one that I guess would be anodized. This is PVD. Uh, and that is a, I guess, a four-ish inch handle. Yeah, uh, I think that's all the important specs. Uh, 7.5 inch overall. So, um, yeah, l nice uh, blade shape to that, absolutely. Uh, liner lock, you can see the uh, blade steel marking on the underside there. Uh, that's a really nice hollow grind on there. Absolutely. How sharp is this one? Uh, where'd my packing slip go? Where'd you go, Mr. Packing Slip? There you are. Let's see how uh, sharp this one is. Just as sharp. Okay. Passing the cut test for sure uh, with some paper. Um, yeah. Same deal as the buzz. You got that ugly ass eyesore um for the reversible pocket clip uh, again this is just my uh opinion but it just it takes away from the aesthetics of the knife like it's one thing when you have like on the growler a filler tab not the greatest but it's better i think than what you have with even on the uh, stout here and they're not the only ones um, you know, that's not, uh, uh, just a Devo knives thing. It's anyone who does a reversible pocket clip, giant mouse, uh, the same. Um, you got a, uh, what I believe is a titanium backspacer. Did it say there, uh, what the backspacer is? Um, no, it does not say what the backspacer is. I don't know if that's titanium or uh, steel, and I don't have my flashlight in my pocket right now, so I can't tell you. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, liner lock there, uh, dead nuts centered on this, and yeah, the action is good to go on this one, man. Absolutely. Uh, these are two great knives. Uh, Similar-ish, right? So, uh, obviously, slightly different uh, blade shapes, but very uh similar um this one is 150 dollars more than this one uh if you asked me if you were going to get one of the two if blade steel doesn't matter to you i'd go with the mash here uh this thing is great uh you only have one method uh of opening here uh with the uh slot only thumb isn't the greatest opening on it but yeah, uh, this is good. That's I, I'm pretty impressed by this guy here. 135 bucks, Not bad whatsoever. How was the thumb on this one? Uh, but man, I can tell you, absolutely. Um, you feel the quality difference in hand. This is more expensive just in hand. Uh, you gotta you gotta get it in hand to experience. Not that this is crappy by any means. This just feels a little bit more premium in hand. It really does. So um, I think that these are appropriately priced. But there you go. Um, one thing we need to do is absolutely positively we need to yeet these. Um, we need to yeet these pocket clips these wire clips and I got a couple of uh, Lynch Northwest clips here so uh, let's get these off of here so let's start uh, let's start with the mash t8 mm, is it t8 yes it is all right so I don't have satin pocket clips to match but I do have uh, stone wash so these are gonna have to do for now sure that fits in there does it I think it does I think I just need to get the screw in there now 
Is this titanium? It shouldn't be titanium uh, hardware. Hmm. There we go. All right. So now we got the uh, Lynch Northwest clip on there. Satin. I think I'm going to need to order a satin one to match that. Let me keep that with my uh, mash box. Now let's get this one off of there. T8 as well. Again, this is not satin, but it is, and it is stone washed. A little bit better fitment on the buzz here as opposed to the mash. Boom. There you go. Is that satin? I think maybe that one is satin. That one's stone washed. But there you go. Uh, can I adjust that these pivots slightly to improve the action just a little bit? That didn't affect centering. Didn't affect blade play at all. Maybe I'll end up putting skips in these, but we're good to go for right now. And let's see if I can loosen. There was no blade play on this one. I didn't check it. I'm just assuming. I shouldn't say that there's none before checking it. There is not any blade play on this. See if I can crack that pivot slightly. Did that do anything to the blade play? No. Did it do anything to the centering? Yes, it did. So let's tighten that back up a skosh. There we go. There we go. All right. So let me put this back in with my... Um, here we go. Over here, got too much stuff going on. But, all right, so I am pretty stoked on the Devo knives lineup. Uh, I'm not going to go get them uh, out, but really, um, I'd say now with the addition of these two, uh, Colin Mason Pierre. Uh, one half of Devo Knives. I got now, I have all of Colin's CM Knife designs, which is the Kube Royale, the Kube Hyde, and two Two Sons. So that's four, eight Colin Mason Pierre design knives. Uh, one of my uh, uh, favorite designers. I dig, uh, I dig what Colin's doing, uh, continuing that with uh, Devo. Um, I think the, uh, the Growler V2 is, uh, coming up. I think they switched, uh, OEMs to Kube on that one. I was one of the lucky ones that got a good, uh, Growler. I got no problems with my Growler. I got no blade play. I, uh, got no centering issues. And I don't have a, uh, bad detent on mine at all. So... And I know that the uh, V2s of the uh, Stout are coming up. The Pony Stout's coming out. They got the uh, their slip joint. They got another little one, the Lush or something. A lot of knives. They're getting very ambitious. So uh, it'll cool, be cool to see uh, everything that they have at uh, Blade Show this year uh, when they go. So, but yeah, there is the mash and there is the buzz. They just so happen to uh, show up on uh, the same day. So, let me know what y'all think. Yay or nay on the Devo Knives. Anywho, I'm digging it. Uh, shout out to uh, Douche Bro number one, Lefty EDC, and Colin Mason Pierre. I think y'all are doing a good job. Um... That's all I got. Uh, I guess I'll end with 
If you guys have been seeing this uh, in my last couple videos up in there, uh, this is the EDC Roundtable Anniversary Challenge coin. Uh, it'll be linked in the description. Um, every purchase of a uh, coin uh, for 25 bucks is going to get you entered into the upcoming EDC Roundtable Anniversary Giveaway. Uh, that's going to have stuff from every uh, member of the EDC Roundtable. Uh, they are 25 bucks. Uh, for an extra 15 bucks, you can get you a Lancelot leather uh, slip for it. Uh, fits uh, nicely, but yeah, uh, pretty awesome that uh, we're coming up on our one-year anniversary. It's just a couple weeks away, and the giveaway is going to be done on Sid Stevie Live on May 27th. So there you go, folks. Um, that's all I got for you. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, don't forget to give the video a like or a dislike. Uh, you can subscribe right here. You can check out that video right there. And until the next one, I bid you mofos adieuses. Or do I? I do.